I'm here now to talk a little bit about the di varying different varieties of oysters that we sell so we can help you make a better decision to determine what your favorite is. We sell our oysters by the shape and the location of harvest. Um, our wild oysters are sold by the size and shape and the harvest location. So our three local oysters are clustered, standard singles, and select singles. And they're all harvested from Beaufort, North Carolina to the South Carolina line. Our Pamlico Sound oysters, Maryland oysters, and Gulf oysters, the kind of more fill-in oysters that we sell, are sold by the watershed that they come from. And our culture oysters are also sold by the location they're grown in. Uh, the reason we do that is because uh, the local select singles and standard singles and clusters come from so many different locations that would get too confusing for the customer um, to, to understand exactly by sold by location. We use the oyster map if you really need to know exactly where an oyster is from. Uh, every harvest location, uh, by law, every harvester by location must identify uh, each bushel with a harvest tag that tells the exact location it came from. And so that will give you an you know, identifying exactly where it came from. Uh, we sell our oysters in two different ways. Our cultured oysters uh, are sold by the dozen, by the 50 count, and the 100 count. And our wild oysters are sold by volume, and that is by the bushel, the half bushel, and the peck. So, the first oyster I'm going to talk about is a local cluster oysters. These are the cheapest bushel oyster we sell, and they're usually medium to large blade oysters. And when I say they're less rocky, they're long and slender. They consist of 3 to 10 or 12 oysters grown together in a clump. They are always salty with a light flavor po profile, and they're the best bargain to feed a bunch of people. And for obvious reasons, they're not the greatest for any half-shell dishes. The next oyster we sell is a local standard single, and this is you get the most amount of oysters for the dollar in this bushel because they're usually medium sized oysters, sometimes a little larger, but they also are blade like, so you get the most packed into a bushel. They're a good value to feed a large group of people. They have a salty and a, again a lighter flavor profile, the same as the clusters. They're not always available, uh, but when they are, they go fast. And they can work for oyster roast or half shell dishes, and they are good for people that don't like the bigger singles, uh, select single oysters. The next local oyster is our local select single oyster, and the, each week these are the biggest, saltiest, rockiest oysters for, for any given week. And uh, their sizes range from like a medium large up to a jumbo, depending on the time of the year and the harvester. And uh, this is one of our most highly demanded, versatile local oysters. They're great for oyster roast and oysters on the half shell. And uh, they're a rockier oyster as well, and they have a salty and a, and a little meatier profile. Than, uh, than the standard singles in the clusters. The next oyster we sell is a cultured stump sound oyster, and we actually grow these ourselves. We CV Crafting has been doing this for about three years now, and uh, they all come with a nice uniform sh shape. They're sold by the count, and they're great for half shell dishes and oyster roast as well. They have a salty, meaty flavor profile and uh, they are also a local favorite so they're always in high demand. The next oyster is, come, is another cultured oyster. This comes from Cedar Island, North Carolina. Um, this is a chef's favorite. We get, it gets in high demand for local restaurants. It's grown in the pristine waters of the, um, near the Pamlico Sound and the Core Sound. And uh, they're great for half shell dishes as well. They're, they have a mild but pronounced salinity, and they're, and they're very meaty, and they are also sold by the count. Um, our, the next cultured oyster we sell comes from Beaufort, North Carolina, 
And we usually sell these year round, and they're grown in pristine waters uh, near Beaufort, North Carolina. They're, they're a smaller, more medium sized oyster, but they're also good for half shell or oyster roast. They also have a salty and a little bit lighter flavor profile. Um, the next are, the, uh, are these are bushel oysters we don't have in all the time. We typically carry these when local harvest is down, tides are not great for harvest, or we have a big rain event. And the first is, the, are, is from, come from the Pamico Sound. And these are harvested in deep waters, and they have a mild salinity, but a very meaty flavor profile. Uh, re local restaurants like these oysters as well. They're great for half shell dishes and roast, and uh, they're usually really single, real rocky oysters. Um, the the next, well, the last two that that we sell, and we, I, again, we don't have these that often, but they are Maryland or Virginia oysters. They typically come from the Chesapeake Bay, and these are a real low salinity oyster. You don't have much salt flavor to these, but they're very meaty. Um, they're sold by the bushel. And uh, they're great for like um, oysters Rockefeller or even oyster roast or really anything. They're very versatile as well. So that uh, that does it for our oysters we usually sell in season. That concludes our section on our oyster varieties. I hope it was informative and come get some oysters.